there welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel depending on if you are new here or if you are a regular so basically as you can see by the title thumbnail and the video on your screen today we are rebuilding the season one american horror story murder house in the sims 4. so this build took me a very long time and i hope that you guys enjoy it a lot because it took a lot of patience and effort and tears gonna be honest we'll talk about that later but first of all I just want to start off by saying thank you all for watching my spooky videos I hope that you are enjoying them whether or not you celebrate Halloween or anything like that I hope it doesn't matter too much and that you are enjoying them nonetheless and that me uploading every day isn't annoying you too much because I'm having a lot of fun with it and I hope you guys are too I just want to mention that in Australia we do not celebrate Halloween really it's like not really a thing so if I'm ever like off mark with something about Halloween that's probably why because we don't actually celebrate it uh, seldom do I think I've been trick-or-treating once in my life I remember that and it was just kind of average because like not many people do trick-or-treating like not many people have like like candy out or anything like that not many people do it and a lot of people actually get kind of mad because they like leave me alone <laughs> but anyway for you, those of you who do celebrate Halloween, I hope you're having a very spooky October and that you're enjoying yourselves and that you're looking forward to Halloween, whatever you do to celebrate it, whether you do or not. But basically this build is essentially a replication of the American Horror Story Murder House from Season 1. If you haven't watched American Horror Story, I definitely recommend that you do because it is a very good series. And basically the reason why I had the inspiration to recreate this build is because I was searching houses that were famous from horror movies and spooky TV shows and stuff like that to replicate in The Sims 4. I was trying to find a house that was big but not like a mansion, although I'm pretty sure this house is classified as a mansion like in real life. It's a bit different in real life obviously but we'll get into that in a minute. And basically I wanted to build something that a lot of people would know about but it hadn't been overdone on YouTube. I know that there certainly are other Sims creators who have created this in the past and of recent and I know that there are other Sims YouTubers who have created this on YouTube uh, in the past and as of recent. So I will go ahead and search and just go ahead and link some of the videos down below that I found when I searched this on YouTube so you guys can go ahead and see how they did as well with replicating it or creating their own little version of it. So you guys can see them so i am no way shape or form saying that i'm the first person to do this or that i am the sole creator of recreating houses from movies or tv shows i am just going ahead and trying to have some fun with this video and recreate a house that i really enjoyed now if you haven't watched american horror story i'm not going to say anything that will spoil it for you guys i'm just going to talk about a couple of little things here and there so if you do want to go ahead and watch it you can still watch this video without getting any of the like parts spoiled but basically Murder House was the first season and it was really well received by the audience. I think a lot of people have definitely watched it, even if they didn't continue on watching. I know a lot of people are mad about American Horror Story, so let me know your thoughts on it down below. But basically, I am not up to date. I haven't watched the most recent season. The most recent one I've watched is Hotel, and that one was a real struggle for me to watch. I really enjoyed the first season. The second season I also really enjoyed. I believe that one was The Asylum. I am a psychology student. I have a psychology blog if you didn't know that. I really love psychological concepts and theories. So I really enjoyed that season obviously. And it was the third season that I would say is my absolute favorite Coven and or Coven however you pronounce it. And I was watching it with someone else. The whole time because we were kind of scared to watch it alone and we wanted to watch it together so whenever we hung out we would watch it together and binge watch it often during the summertime like I don't know when it was coming out but we would only watch it when it had all came out so whenever it was summertime we'd hang out go to the beach and then come back and watch American Horror Story under the air conditioning I just remember that like every summer we'd watch a season of it from like 2014 onwards I think and then we eventually got stuck at Freak Show. We watched the first couple of episodes and we weren't really feeling it. And I think that's where a lot of other people got lost as well along the way. If you see me pausing a lot throughout this build, it's because it was a really hard build to replicate and I had to keep on looking at my reference pictures. Um, if you do want to see the pictures I reference from, I've included about four at the end of the video, like side-by-side -side shots of the exterior and the floor plans that I was copying off of so you can pause and go ahead and have a look to see how accurately I did. But if you want to see any of the other uh, real-life pictures, just go ahead and search 
American Horror Story season one house and then the room. So like library, dining room. That's basically what I did. But anyway, we were watching Freak Show and I liked the first couple episodes and then I just sort of got bored of it. I don't know. We just couldn't binge watch it anymore. So we decided we'd just watch one episode here and there. But it just wasn't the same. Whereas the last ones that we've been watching, we'd be able to watch like the whole season in like over the course of a couple of days. So we're really disappointed with that one and we didn't finish it. We still haven't finished it to this day. And then season four, no, that was season four. Season five was Hotel, right? I might be getting this wrong. If you want to find out exactly, I'd go on Netflix. Is it all on Netflix? I don't know. I think the most recent season at least is on Netflix, if not all of it. But if you want to know, go ahead and just search the Wikipedia. They're usually pretty accurate with like when it came out and episode numbers and seasons and all that so go ahead and search that if you do want to find out specific details but I remember watching Freak Show we never finished it and then we watched Hotel last year so I think we started watching Freak Show I don't know I feel like it was like 2015 but I'm not sure when it came out maybe 2016 it definitely wasn't 2017 it wasn't last year it was at least over a year ago and we didn't watch it for ages and then at the end of last year we watched hotel and i was watching it with the person that we were like watching it together and they got sick of it really quick i didn't mind it i did finish it i think i finished it without them in the end like i watched the last two or so episodes and just told them what happened because they got really sick of it uh, but i was okay i could push through it i really wanted to finish it and now I think there has been maybe one more season and then there's one airing right now. I'm not sure. I know there's at least one more season like either happening or has already like finished airing. So I was going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and watch that like again, like try again because some people have been saying it's really good. So let me know if you've watched it. Don't post any spoilers in case people haven't seen. But just tell me is the next season after hotel better than hotel because if it's better than hotel i think we'll be able to watch it because i did finish it and the person i'm watching it with got through most of it so i think if the next season's better we should be able to get through it but basically we were going to watch it like start watching it soon because we've been seeing about it on facebook for like a couple of months now like like people suspecting what it would be about and all this kind of stuff but then Brooklyn Nine-Nine just released. So this is coming out a couple weeks into October, I think. Maybe the second weekend of October. I think this comes out on my mum's birthday. But anyway, on the day when I'm recording this, it's the 28th of September, a Friday. And Brooklyn Nine-Nine just released the fifth season on Netflix. So this weekend, we're going to be binge watching that. And then also my roommate, they play FIFA. So the latest FIFA game came out. So they're probably going to be playing that in between like watching episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. We're going to go buy some popcorn this afternoon, which is what we always love to do when we watch like binge watch TV shows and just get some treats and some snacks. But I'm thinking that next weekend, like after the weekend, I think I'm going to be trying to eat more of a plant-based diet. I know you guys might not care about this, but if any of you eat heavily plant-based diets or semi-vegan, semi-vegetarian like vegetarian diets, let me know if you have any like tips down below. Basically, we don't eat a lot of meat as it is, and the only animal product I really eat is egg, and like things with egg in it, like mayonnaise and stuff like that. But I'm perfectly happy to get like alternatives to mayonnaise and stuff like that, that's fine. But I think the only thing I'll miss, like not eating eggs, is actual eggs. But for the most part, I feel like I'm gonna be fine eating a more plant-based diet. I'm not gonna say I am vegan because I know I'm gonna stuff up for a while. So I'm trying to transition to eventually be like fully vegan because it's something I really do believe in. I was vegetarian for about a year, but it severely impacted my health. So I'm kind of scared that's gonna happen again. My doctor like at the time was like, you can't be vegetarian because I had issues with my body. I'll probably tell that in a different video. That's a really long story. But basically, my doctor strongly advised against me not eating red meat. And I hate red meat. I still don't really eat it, even though my doctor says I need to. So obviously, I'm on like supplements and transfusions and stuff like that. But that's a different story. So I've got to be really careful when transitioning into changing my diet and like getting rid of certain things or like saying like I'm not going to eat animal products. So. I'm looking forward to changing because whenever I do eat meat, it makes me feel sick. And like, I don't know if you've ever experienced like meat sweats and like, I don't know, it just makes me feel sick. And then I always feel really bloated and gross. So I was just thinking I might just try it out for a little bit. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going fully vegan or I'm fully vegetarian, but just for a while, I'm going to try it out. So I'll let you guys know how that goes just in case anyone's interested. 
And if any of you are vegan or have any kind of like dietary restrictions, whether they be by choice or medical condition or whatever, let me know how you like adjust. Like maybe if you got told like, hey, you're lactose intolerant, you can't have lactose. Like how did you go about transitioning through that? The main reason that influenced me to want to do this is because we just got our new fridge today. I think I said that in another video, but we got our new fridge and it's up and running. And I sort of don't want to like, this sounds stupid, but I don't want to like taint it. Like if I want to go vegan or vegetarian, if I want to start making these changes, I feel like there's no better time than right now. Like we've got a new fridge where like it's big and it's got more room. I can do more meal prep and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to start making some changes to my diet so I can start feeling better. Not just like for a like weight loss or anything like that reason, just like in general, because if I eat like the other night we had hamburgers and afterwards I just felt so bad. Like I just felt so disgusting and like gross and they had eggs in it as well and like cheese and just all that kind of stuff. It just really upset my stomach and I was like, my body doesn't like this. Like my body doesn't like it. My body doesn't want it. Why am I forcing myself to eat it? And I don't really like it. Like, it's not a thing where if you said like, you can never eat this ever again, I wouldn't be upset. I'd just be like, all right, like, sure. Okay. Whatever. So that's why I'm thinking of making those changes. So when we go to the food stores tonight, I might try and look for some better uh, alternatives that are cruelty or meat, uh, like animal product free because I'm looking to make the transition over the next week because we usually go food shopping on Sundays but we go like we've got a new rule that helps us eat less snacks throughout the week where whatever we spend on food shopping we minus it from our budget and then whatever's left from our budget that we didn't spend we get to spend on snacks on Fridays so that's a really cool idea that stopped us from buying so many snacks at the start of the week and then usually we just eat them all within the first couple of days Whereas now we've got a rule where we eat healthily throughout the first, like th like we go food shopping on Sunday, then we eat healthily up until Friday. Then on Friday we can get a couple of snacks because usually there's only about $10 or so left from the budget. So we just get a couple of snacks like popcorn and maybe we don't drink anything other than water. So we might get like some kind of juice or something like that. And then just a couple of a couple of treats like chocolate and stuff like that as well so we're gonna go ahead and do that today I'm really looking forward to that and I'm really happy with our new fridge it fits perfectly it's absolutely amazing the delivery was like so fast and easy as well it was amazing I love it so much but yes our old fridge is pretty much dead now but my grandma's gonna take it back and maybe use it just for like putting cans of drink in because it's only a little fridge like it's not a mini fridge but it's like not a full fridge either and basically the issue with it is that it just turns off a lot like it'll turn off every now and then and then it's been like at one point it was off for an hour and like I couldn't get it to turn back on for a solid hour so it's kind of scary like what happens if it goes off whilst I'm at uni and then it goes off for like three hours which is like at that point you probably need to throw away your food like I think it's about four hours they recommend not having food refrigerated for like you got to put it on ice if your fridge is going to be out for more than four hours and basically what happens if it went out I'm gone for like say I don't know say I'm gone for seven hours you know driving going to uni driving back whatever and then it turns off within like three hours and it's off for three hours but then by the time I get back it's been back on for two or three hours and the food is cold again but it did dip down into that danger zone like it's, it's this really freaky thinking that our food could be like off but then we touch it and we're like oh it's cold and then, you know, not all foods have strong smells or like odors or stuff when they're off. And I'm like, oh, what happens if it's like off or it's bad and it makes us sick? And I thought that might have been what happened with the hamburgers that day. But that day I was home all day. So I was checking the fridge consistently. So it's very unlikely that's what happened with the hamburgers. But I don't know. I'm just going to try implementing a more plant based diet because I do need to be eating more vegetables anyway. I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but like since moving out of home, I just don't really eat vegetables that often because my mom used to cook vegetables say like she'd cook them three night three nights a week we'd have vegetables and then like two nights we'd have salad and then the other nights it'd be something like pasta where you wouldn't have like salad or vegetables or anything and then so we I'd be getting like vegetables or salad five nights a week and now we just don't really cook vegetables like I don't know We've got vegetables like in the freezer, but then at one point there was like a recall where the brand of vegetables we used to buy got recalled for like hepatitis or something. So that wasn't fun or some kind of 
some kind of pneumonia, some kind of illness, not good. So we had to like recall them and then since then we didn't buy any more because we're like kind of scared to buy them. But we, we bought a different brand now. But anyway, I don't know if you guys care about this at all, but let me know if you have any like food situations that are similar to mine or if you have any advice. So basically we're upstairs doing the room sound. This is Violet's room. If you haven't watched the TV show, you definitely should. And the other thing I do want to say is this is not to scale or like accurate really. I just based it off of a couple of photos and some of the room's actual positionings within the floor plan. I don't know if they're accurate because it's really hard to tell from just watching the film because a lot of the time you don't see them walk from room to room so you're not sure like when they're in a room you're like is this on the first floor or the second floor? Is it at the end of this corridor or this corridor? Like. So I was re-watching a couple of episodes of the show whilst I was building this, but I still couldn't tell like which room was Violet's, which room was the baby's, which room was the study. So I just looked at the photos online and just tried to make them look accurate, even if they aren't in the correct room. But let me know if they are incorrect. I can always go in and change them. And if you listen to my Cabin in the Woods voiceover towards the end of the last like six or so minutes, you'd know that I had some issues with the gallery not giving me credit for my own content. I won't run to edit it again because I don't feel like getting upset, but that's what I cried about. So I think I said it in that video that this build was the first time I realized the gallery wasn't giving me credit for my own content. And I like freaked out and got really upset because I spent like six or so hours on this. As you can tell, this is quite a long build video. But anyway, the, the version of this on the gallery is slightly different to the one you're seeing now because I had to save all the rooms individually and replace them, redo the exterior, the roofing, the foundation, the stairs, the basement and the like landscaping. So I had to change a lot of the house because the gallery was not giving me credit for my own content, which is really upsetting, especially when you guys can watch this video and you can see me building it. It's like, I didn't steal this. This isn't someone else's content. This is mine. So it's just really frustrating when that was keeping on happening, but I've resolved the issue now. If you're having this issue, you have to go ahead and save the rooms one by one and replace them. And then after that, what you need to do is you need to delete that save file and just start a new one. That's the only way I found a way to stop it from happening. But yes, this was really disappointing. So I hope you like my replication of this house. As I said, it is not exact, but I tried to do it as close to possible based on some photos. So there is the exterior. You can see a couple of comparisons with some floor plans. Feel free to pause the video to look at the floor plans and whatnot in more detail. But now we are just jumping into some basic screenshots. I did base a lot of these screenshots off of uh, pictures off of Google images, but I couldn't get the Google images photos to fit resolution wise are really blurry and pixelated so I wasn't going to bother you guys with those but if you've watched the show you will recognize some of these rooms but until next time I hope you have a snazzy day and I'll see you all soon bye guys